you got a fantastic deal. I did? You did. So when would you like to sign the papers? Bought a $3 million apartment. It's all paid for in your name. Do you think this is going to work? I just need the chance. You bought the penthouse. Why? So you can have a whore in my bed again? He remembered my dream car. He knows the place that I want to live in. Proved too much to resist. Oh my God. Welp. From a Rolls Royce full of uh, what jewelry bags and I believe clothes too. But re regardless, um, Gary has yet again outdone himself with a three million dollar penthouse suite in Andy's name. And the question is, would you take him back? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to signal people out just because I'm a man or women out since I'm a man. But let me just say this. And I'm not rooting. I'm not rooting for Gary in this scenario. The only scenario I'm rooting for Gary in is the fact that I don't think he nor Jake have ill intent, ill intention with helping Zach with his newfound wealth. But when it comes to Andy, it's like, bro, give it up. This just gotten way too over the top old. He has spent probably close to like $5 million at, at this point. $3 million for the penthouse, you know, $500,000 for the car. I forgot the exact amount that he said was in the um, car in terms of jewelry and bags. But basically, dude dropped, you know, close to $5 mil on this woman who hasn't officially taken him back. And for what? Like in some of the TV line articles and whatnot, Cheeto has talked about how when it comes to Andy, it's like Gary doesn't like to lose or anything. So the challenge of getting Andy back is honestly, he described him pretty well. Gary seems to like love the thrill of the chase. But once he gets that, that, that prey he's been hunting down, he gets kind of bored. I think even his therapist kind of pointed that out and I think the therapist was right about both Andy and Gary to an extent. So I got to give it to Andy for not immediately falling for everything. But let's be real. If Karen wasn't there, she would have got on that phone. She would have took the phone the cop handed her. She would have listened to everything that Gary had to say. And they would have been back in bed together that same night before he started acting like an asshole again. That's literally how it goes. But this man not only is spending money, but putting things in her name, which I believe legally means that he can't get back no matter how hard he tries to fight it. So, I mean, hell, that's why I like Fatima and Karen have both been saying, yo, let's sell this stuff, make this money. So I feel like with the penthouse, guys, yeah, it, sound, it seems ridiculous. I mean, Tyler Perry kind of hinted at, do you think Gary is behind everything that's been going on behind the scenes, even though that makes no, absolutely damn, that makes no sense. Um, it just seems weird, like he's that serious about Andy. It's just like Candace Young and the haves and the have-nots. Candace Young is very attractive, but it does she got the best kitty cat in the world? Because, you know, Charles like, wow, I've never had sex with anyone like you, and this dude was going into the White House. Yeah, Jim Cryer... Who, to me personally, the only reason he was like hung up on Candace was because he had just turned 50 and was having a midlife crisis. So that makes sense. But to make like her the most irresistible woman in America makes no sense, even though, again, she's fine as hell. But when it comes to like Andy, who's attractive as well, it's like, Gary, there's really no other woman that could put it on like Andy. Hell, what about Jasmine? Y'all had kids, but now it's only one autistic son or special needs child. So, was she not good? What the hell? She looks like she could not go. <clears throat> yeah, I'd love her to throw me around. But in any case, I just feel like um, this is too ridiculous. But the penthouse looks so damn nice. I just can't wait to see it in the next episode. I mean, you got uh, Andy, but specifically um, Sabrina and Danny, who are just floored by the way this place looks. And, you know, Bitter Karen is going to show up and is like, Andy, are you really going to take him back? To be completely honest, at least Andy's getting a hell of a lot more out of it than last time. Like she tells uh, Gary in the promo, you know, uh, Gary's... Uh... Okay, so the property manager informs Andy of the penthouse and the fact that she got it at an amazing deal. All it takes at the moment is for her to sign the paperwork. Gary's coming over and basically says, you know, yep, it's a uh, $3 million apartment. It's crazy to me how this works out. I mean, I'm literally trying to make sense of what he's doing. 
Um, he explains to her that the penthouse is $3 million in her name. And he's like, do you really think this is going to work? I just need another chance. What? You got me a penthouse so you can have another whore in my bed again? But she gets comes off the elevator and she's literally in awe as I would be because that place looks beautiful. And, to you know, like I said, you know, Sabrina and Danny are just blown away. But the moment she sees that portrait or photo of herself is like, what? Look, I don't think I look that good in photos or in real life. So I wouldn't want to see a picture of me unless it was like a portrait. And I was like, you know, like a king or some shit like that. <laughs> you know, like Bugs Bunny, that meme where he's like uh, royalty and whatnot. That, that, that last legit. But I don't think I have a portrait of myself that I want blown up like that. So, um, yeah, for the people saying Andy's dumb and whatnot, there are women out there who have taken men back who have bought them Chick-fil-A. Or something off the value menu at Burger King. Or I've just said I'm sorry with a faded ass rose. You telling me you wouldn't take a man back if he got all this stuff for you? All I'm saying is there are women who have taken trash men like Gary back and they've gotten far less than a penthouse or Rolls Royce or designer bags. That's all the hell I'm saying. <laughs> But I really do feel like um he's doing way too much. I don't see the point of doing this. Uh, what's that one rapper I saw recently in an interview when I was scrolling? He was like, you know, he has... Uh, dang it, I cannot think of it, but I literally just saw this in passing yesterday. But he admits to having like a problem with... Uh, well, a lot of these, you know, famous celebrities and whatnot, they have a thing about blowing a lot of cash on women that they just met because they're attractive. But Gary is just... This makes no sense. It isn't, you know, Gary pursuing Andy. I mean, and then in the last episode, Aaron and Preston both wanting to pursue Karen and Danny, who are just either too difficult or don't want them, but want them. It's just so stupid because the, look, don't get me wrong. I don't think the women in this show are written to be that good, but the men, I feel like Tyler Perry is writing them to be simps to the next level. Like what the freak? So let me know your thoughts. Why is Gary doing all of this? Bet money. If he got Andy to say, I'll take you back, he will go back to asshole mode in the drop of a hat. Remember, the day they were supposed to get married, but she said no, that night he acted like an asshole in bed because he couldn't touch her because all he could do was think about Paris touching her instead. And then the therapist, I feel, was right. Gary enjoys the thrill of the chase, but that's it. Once the chase is done, he's just bored and unable to, you know, get it up, it seems. So let me know your thoughts below. Feel free to chime in. Um, hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. In order to be notified whenever I upload content, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon and select all. If it doesn't work, notifications not going through you may need to unsubscribe and do the process over again it is tedious but youtube is weird nowadays finally if you want to donate enough money so i can get a penthouse of my own feel free to do so on paypal or cash app thanks so much for tuning in and i can't wait to see how things go down in this next episode trust and believe it because that penthouse is nice